Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we're gonna start with Rolly Winkler update post show, post Europa Spain Pro where he placed second and actually earned a qualification for the Mr. Olympia but not really the way he preferred it second place against Nathan Diasha he was not happy about it he showed his discontent on the stage guys, Rolly Winkler, he was third at the Mr. Olympia after Phil Heath and Sean Roden he was up there, he was right there in the top he almost was the Mr. Olympia champion and now he can't even win a pro show he was fifth at Chicago and he improved so much for the Europa Pro and he failed again, he was second against Nathan almost beaten by some newbies, basically so why is this? I'm gonna make a separate video about this but as for now, right here, you can see that he even though he does look very impressive in the gym you can still see that his entire body compared to his head is not as big as it once was Rolly was a beast, Rolly was a mass monster, one of the freakiest bodybuilders if not the freakiest bodybuilder in the IBB at certain times now, not really the case, he downsized quite a bit is it simply because he wasn't able to train a lot or to train really hard in the offseason because the gym's being closed? I really doubt that. I don't think a professional bodybuilder couldn't figure it out. Wasn't able to find a gym to train in? <laughs> I don't know about that because I have a lot of friends over here in Serbia who train, who work out. Most of them don't even compete and we all figured it out when the gyms were closed. We all had some place to train at. So I have no doubt that Rolly Winkler was able to train if he wanted to. Maybe he just decided not to train, to take a rest. Maybe he actually trained, but, but his age took a toll on his body and that's why he lost all the muscle and that's why he is placing so poorly now. How much can he improve until Arnold? Well, considering how much he improved from Chicago to Europa, yeah, then it means that he can probably make more progress until Arnold. Can he win Arnold? Come on, no. No, I don't think he can improve that much. Can he place in top 5, top 6? That's gonna be a challenge. I think that's gonna be the best case scenario for him. In this short time that he has, he can improve probably that much to be in like top 5, top 6. Best case scenario if he improves a lot. To win Arnold Classic? No, I think his days of winning Arnold Classics are over, at least for this year. But as far as the future, anything is possible. We're gonna talk about this a little bit more in length uh, in another video. But right now, let's move on to something interesting. So the real technician, Chris Asito, shared this photo where Chul Son is absolutely peeled out of his mind and he won a pro qualifier, he won his class. In case you don't know who he is, let me remind you, because I'm sure you saw this video before, most people who don't even lift saw this video and will probably recognize this guy, at least his face, but I'm sure if you're a bodybuilding fan, you heard about the name Chul Son. Uh, this guy is a great performer, great entertainer on the stage. Uh, this is the famous video that he made not so long ago. But when I saw this video, I thought he does have some interesting features. His chest is huge. He does know how to dance. But to be a good bodybuilder? With these tiny legs and these huge obliques? No, I would say never. I don't think that's really a possibility. Maybe in man's physique. Probably not even there because of the stomach and the, and the waistline, the obliques are huge. But if you pay attention, he was able to bring solid conditioning before. He just doesn't really know how to pose aggressively. He's just having fun, you know, he's too relaxed on the stage. And the legs were just horrible. Too small, tiny, glutes, hamstrings everywhere in the lower body. He was just, uh, it was just not matching his upper body, it was horrible. Upstairs he was pretty good, still not really great for a bodybuilder, but maybe like some kind of classic physique something, I don't know. Uh, you can see, yeah, look at the Christmas tree and the lats are just separated, so this guy can get dry, he does have the condition, he always had it. It's not really new that we saw him this ripped, but he did improve his legs quite a bit, and overall he gained a lot of size, and I don't know what the hell did he do with his obliques, he probably trained them too much before and that's why he did, this muscle grew so much. He somehow managed to downsize that part as well. Maybe he's just good at hiding it with his uh, hands, with his arms. But I think we would be able to see it if it was that bad as it was before. And also from behind, his waist looks pretty small. Now he added a ton of muscle in his glutes, in his quads, in his adductors, in his hamstrings. Lower body looks so much better, so much bigger and upstairs also he grew. 
So he definitely made a lot of progress. I don't know how old he was in that video, but he was probably young. I don't know, these, these Asian guys, they look 20 years younger. I met some of them that they're like 45, I thought they were like 25, literally. So I'm not sure how old he is, if you guys have any idea, tell me. But he definitely did make a lot of progress and he brought crazy conditioning, he was crisp. Here he says it took him 3 weeks to prepare for this show and Chris Aceto helped him with conditioning. So I guess whatever this guy did, they did a great job, he looked crisp, he won a pro qualifier, so congrats. And congrats for the gains made, mainly. He really made his physique transform in the last, I don't know, year maybe? Yeah, now he looks like a bodybuilder, like a proper bodybuilder. And I don't know what his future plans are, but uh, he does look much better and I'm sure he can be successful bodybuilder. I don't know which division, but this does look pretty good. So, speaking about the bloated stomachs and uh, big waistlines, we gotta mention Hunter Labrada because his most recent physique update was rather disappointing. I think this needs to be pointed out. I think this needs to be criticized before it's too late, before he brought this to the stage. Now, this is only a gym uh, posing session and, and update. It's not on the stage, so it's not really something that we should criticize. But he posted on IG and we can see it. And if I can see it, I want to point it out. I want to say he needs to be careful. He needs to be careful now because he is pretty much where he needs to be as far as size. He probably can't gain much more and improve his physique. He probably gained as much muscle as he can. Now it's all about the finer details, the polish. He needs to add more detail and density in the back. And I think that's basically it. And maturity, gain more maturity. And that's it. If he keeps trying to get bigger and bigger, he's just gonna blow his waist out and it's gonna be huge and it's going to ruin his symmetry. Because in this front double bicep right here, it doesn't look very good. No, no, it looked so much better when he was dieting and his stomach was in. Now, I'm guessing he ate a ton of food after the show and that probably has to do uh, something <laughs> with this bubble gut. Uh, but uh, I don't know, maybe he, maybe if he does that so often, maybe that's the way to, to ruin it. I would hate it if Hunter Labrada ruined his physique by blowing his waistline. I would hate that to happen. So I had to make a video about this and to hear your take, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Should we criticize him about it? I mean, it's not on the stage, so maybe it's okay. But even though it's on Instagram, I still don't like seeing it. But it doesn't really matter, as long as he's uh, on point on stage. He never really had that issue before. I just would hate it. I love his physique, I love him as a bodybuilder. He's a great potential to be one of the top Olympians. Uh, as soon as the older guys retire, I think he's gonna be the next wave of top 3, top 4 bodybuilders. Might even win the Mr. Olympia, for, for that matter. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised. But if he keeps going like this, if he blows his, his waistline completely, if he makes his, his stomach look huge, that would just ruin his uh, proportions, his symmetry, and wouldn't really work in his favor. No matter how much mass he gained with it, because if his stomach stayed like this, like it is in this, in this photo right here, he would have to gain like, I don't know, 30 pounds of muscle to match it, to make it look more symmetrical. Of course, it's probably just bloat from a lot of food, but... I'm still scared for him, I don't know, I'm sure he knows what he's doing, I'm just really hoping he's paying attention to this, and this actually won't happen on the stage. AJ Kelly Robert, uh, a host on Muscular Development uh, YouTube show, Global Muscle Radio, something like that, uh, he posted this physique update of uh, Sergio Oliva, I think Sergio sent him this, and also said that he's more driven than he ever was, basically. And this is a comparison of him right now and him before the Arnold Classic 2020. And it does look like a significant improvement. As far as legs, not really, but his legs were huge before, so that's fine. His upper body does look better and the posing looks better. Now this guy is uh, he's a taller guy. He's kind of like Steve Kuklo. He, he's in that region. He's like six foot, something like that. So you can't really get an idea how big he is when he's standing alone. But uh, when he stands next to the other guys, especially the shorter guys, you can see, you can grasp how big he actually is. Uh, nonetheless, even if you take a look at his photo here on the right, you can see that he looks amazing. He looks huge. He gained a lot of muscle, it seems. He, seems, he looks like he gained like 5-10 pounds of muscle in a year. 
which is insane to think about for a guy on his level. So I'm really curious to see what he's gonna look like once he trims all the fat down, all the water, and he finally brings that final package for the Arnold Classic. How well can he place? That's the question. I'm really curious to see. I think a lot of people are actually underestimating Sergio Oliva. He is so outspoken and so uh, aggressive and uh, he's always arguing with his fans, with other people in the industry. He's always involved in some kind of drama. He is sort of a drama queen. And because of that, people are kind of not really focusing on his results and on his physique. Guys, he was fifth at the Arnold last year and there was Dexter Jackson, who was second, William Bonac, who won a big Grammy, who was third, who is now the Mr. Olympia champion, and fourth, who was in fourth, maybe Steve Kuklo, something like that. So Sergio was fifth in a really good lineup, and now he's coming better, so let's wait and see what's gonna happen, but I'm sure he's gonna make, uh, he's gonna make a progress, a leap, as far as placings. He's gonna be fourth, third, is he gonna win the show? We'll see, but I'm expecting a lot from him. Regan Grimes updated us, coming to the Mr. Olympia. This is him right now. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Again, another guy. Like Steve and Sergio, Regan is also taller, so he's actually a big guy. But it seems like he made no progress since his last show. Maybe he went off for an off-season, maybe he wanted to relax a little and then just, uh, you know, push the gas pedal all the way in his prep. Uh, I'm guessing he started dieting, he started the deficit, so he looks flat right now. But this update here doesn't look impressive. Though we will see what's gonna happen to him as the prep goes along. Maybe he's gonna make more progress, maybe he's actually gonna be better on the stage eventually. It could be the case. Last year he competed probably too many times and at the Mr. Olympia he was off. Now, when he comes fresh, he probably will peak properly and probably will be better than last year. But as far as off-season uh, adding size and making progress as far as muscularity and a physique, I don't think he really did a lot. I don't know, it doesn't look like that to me. What do you guys think? Alright, and also we have an update of Dennis Wolf. I don't know what made him do this. Apparently he was training and he got pumped and he saw good lighting in this mirror and he decided to take a video. And he probably liked what he saw and he decided to post it. For a retired bodybuilder, his body fat percent is amazing which is often the case with guys with crazy fast metabolism, like Dennis Wolf is, he's basically known for that. Him and a couple of other guys, like the craziest metabolisms ever. And that's why he's so shredded in the offseason, probably without trying at all. He's probably like eating a couple of meals a day and he's staying peeled. As far as muscularity, again, for a guy who is retired, great. He didn't down downsize like totally and lost all the muscle, like for example Dave Palombo. That didn't really happen, but is he holding on to a lot of mass, like, for example, I don't know, Jay Cutler? No, he is smaller than Jay, I think. But uh, he does hold on to some muscle, and uh, he is looking lean, and I'm sure he's healthy, as far as him not carrying 300 plus pounds in the offseason, that's definitely much healthier. This way is much healthier uh, for his heart and overall general health, so good for him. Good for him and good for him staying in shape in the off in, in the retired days, actually. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And for more bodybuilding updates and all kinds of bodybuilding videos, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, all the best and bye-bye.